York Studios. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Tom. Now, Tom, you know, for parents, the more you expose your children to, the more likely they are to stay out of trouble and find success, right? Well, one little girl in New York may be on her way to the White House, Tom, or something fantastic, if her activities have anything to do with it. Tom, Mabu Loasso is five years old. She's on her way to speaking seven languages. Five. She's five years old. She's on her way to mastering seven languages, plays six instruments, and spends six days a week in seven hours of learning instruction. Now, she's off on Sundays. Her parents are Haitian immigrants. Her mother teaches piano lessons uh, when she's not working with Mabu. Her father, Tom, works 16-hour days at a parking attendant to, to pay for this. Uh, they pay about $1,500 a week for all of this instruction for their daughter. They're not a rich family. Um, there are critics, family, friends, and just people in the public because they recently um, had an article on the little girl in the New York Daily News here. Uh, there are folks that are concerned that all this may be too much for a five-year-old and she should spend more time just being a kid. Tom, I'm going inside her story with Esther Luasso, Mabu's mother. Good morning, Mrs. Luasso. Good morning. How are you today? Very well. Now, let me ask you, just so we can be clear, tell me what languages uh, Mabu is, is studying right now. Uh, right now, Mabu speaks uh, Russian, Chinese, Arabic, French, English, Spanish, and, of course, Creole. Of course, Creole. Now, and what instrument do, uh, does she uh, play? Uh, she plays the piano, because I teach piano. <laughs> she plays the violin, the clarinet. She plays the harp, she plays the guitar, she plays congas. Now, Tom, anyone who wants to see uh, Mabu at work can go to blackamerica.com, uh, black blackamericaweb.com, and log on to my website, jackiereed.com, and you can see a video of her speaking several languages, playing instruments, just in case there's any doubt. She actually is doing these things. Now, Mrs. Lasso, I wanted to ask you, um, your family really has to cut back in order to, to pay for this lifestyle. How do you do that? What ways do you alter your lifestyle to pay for this? Uh, it, it's it's not definitely easy. However, you we just have we just had to decide to do it. That's the important word, decide, because anything big demands a lot of sacrifices. What I wanted for my daughter is to have, of course, just like every other parent, uh, a good education. Uh, however, I just decided to do it another way, a little different way. Uh, what I did, I cut back, as you just said, on a lot of things. Many parents have a trip every year or many times a year. We don't. Uh, the trips we have are mostly trips to the museum, trips to uh, the zoos, you know, to visit different things. And, of course, as a child, she, she enjoys them. But most of all, as you mentioned before, as a piano teacher, uh, of course, I have piano students, and I am uh, uh, right now running a tutoring school, uh, the Doremi Arts and Languages, where we teach languages and we teach uh, the, the, these different instruments. Actually, that's how it all started. When the parents realized how Mabu was speaking different languages and were playing different instruments, they were amazed, happy, and so was I, to be honest with you. And uh, they decided, a few of them had started asking me, to homeschool their daughters and things like that. And we started homeschooling, and as things continues, uh, as, as things continued, we have then decided to have the Doremi school. And that's mostly how we do it, and of that's course, uh, with now, let, my me, help. let me ask you this, Mrs. Wasso, because when the Daily News ran the story on you, there were a lot of comments um, from folks, uh, pretty negative, not all of them, but there were some comments that were negative about what you're doing with Mabu. What do you say to folks who criticize uh, you and your husband for um, not in their words, letting uh, Mabu just be a typical kid. Right. Uh, what I say to them, the first word is thank you, because that means they acknowledge what I'm doing. Uh, positive or negative, it's still good, because positive, I still can learn from them, and negative, I say thank you. Uh, but Mabu, Mabu not being a kid, they probably don't realize that uh, a, a child who goes to a regular school tends to let's say from, from 9 to 3, it's about 6 hours. Mabu spent 7 hours, just 1 hour uh, uh, more. And, uh, of course,
course, uh, it always takes a, an extra step, a little bit more sacrifice to do a little more, uh, I mean, a little better or, or a little more. Not necessarily better, but a little more. So I right. decided, okay, let me just uh, put in one extra hour. Remember, she doesn't spend time traveling to go to school. She doesn't That's come home school. She's have home. You, have you heard the comparison to you, between you and the tiger mom that wrote the book? Uh, just a little while ago about how her daughters and, and their studies as well as their after-school activities? Oh, I haven't heard it, but I will definitely look into There's it. An, and they're saying that what you're doing is no different than what the uh, Asian parents are doing uh, in encouraging and providing these um, situations for their children. Uh, do, you think that, do you think that's fair, uh, and, and is it a good thing for you in terms of... Uh, you, know, you know what, I respect everybody's way of thinking, that, mm -hmm. that's their way of saying it, but I, I will humbly say that I'm just trying to provide for my daughter, I'm trying to open doors for her, as I've said before, and I'm sure she will filter out the things that she doesn't necessarily want after a few years. However, exposing a child is key. She needs... If, if you have a piece of land, you don't plant anything in it, trust me, things are going to grow, except it's not the things that you want to grow. So the things you want to grow, you have to plant. And that's what I'm doing. Education, that's what I believe in, just like all the other parents. Again, I just do it a different way. Thank you, Mrs. Watson. Thank you. 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 Thank you.